What's going on YouTube? It's Trent here with Off-Road Odyssey. Today I wanted to talk about my truck setup. Um, I had lots of questions on how the platform was actually built and since I needed to clean it out I figured I might as well show you guys how it's set up. So let's get into it. So because I have the drawer here uh, it makes it a little more complicated. I could take all this stuff apart without but I'm going to clean out the entire bed. Uh, so all I do is pull the drawer all the way out. And then I set it down on the ground in a not so graceful process because it's actually pretty heavy. If you had two people, this is what I would suggest to you. You borrow that second person. Because it ain't super easy. But it can be done. The platform here, uh, obviously. Um, it's two separate pieces carpeted with, uh, I believe it's called an eco rug, and that's pretty straightforward, just stapled and glued on. There are no supports. You can see you have full use of the bed underneath here, and uh, obviously it sits, you know, flush. It sits right on top of the wheel wells. It, it sits about nine and a half inches. Um, to here now if you have your the 2x6 cross member you have about 7 inches and then the actual height uh, is 21 inches to the lip here and then your your headroom gives you another about uh, 5 inches so 26 inches of total total room from the platform up if you do put a pad on here obviously you're going to lose that height as well so the total length is 72 inches this is a long bed so i uh, can't really see that but 72 inches that way <clears throat> and then each one of these individual pieces is 28 and a half inches wide giving you a total length of 57 inches across now to remove the platform it's pretty easy um, but i like to start with the passenger side and then all you do is slide it out that and you're good to go you can stack these um, you can either just set them like this or if you flip them and rotate them you can um, stack them on top of each other so I like to take the passenger side out first because if you try and take the driver side out since I have this wire you can sometimes hit that and just to prevent any damage to this I just take out this passenger side first and then I can slide this over. The next piece is just these two by sixes and they come out pretty easily just like that. The total height measures just at 57 inches and that sits perfectly fine in there. The dimensions on this, uh, so this is obviously a two by six so it's an inch and a half. Um, so I took out about a half inch the important thing with notching those out is so that, that that sits flush against the ridge there. And that's important because with Toyotas you have those notches in the side um, right in there. And that's what these 2x6s sit in. Pretty straightforward. Pretty much the same. Identical to how you took it out. Place that piece where they go. it's pushed all the way against the side there and then you can do the same with this side sometimes this could be the tricky part but they kind of went in pretty easily there so and that's that you have the platform built it took maybe a minute to take it all out and put it all back together and if you want half the use of the bed you can easily just pop that over to the side put stuff in there that's why I like this setup it's super versatile so I'm a super big fan of this setup uh, it's allowed me great versatility to be able to use my truck still and then be able to you know move over one of the platforms and have the whole side of my bed open uh, it's been pretty awesome uh, if you want to see some of my other camping setups how I've set up the drawer and all that stuff go ahead and check out those videos uh, wherever they are on the screen uh, and as always 
thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you want to do me a favor, just uh, hit that subscribe and that like button. It really helps me out. And if not, thanks for watching. As always, have a great day. Peace.